Okay, this is going to be part five of the integration by part series, and we're going to work a problem very similar to what we worked in uh, the part four video. So if you have not done it yet, absolutely watch the part four video so you can see the similarities between that last problem and what we're going to do in this case. So first of all, just a reminder, what we did in the part four video was this. We found the integral of e to the x times the cosine of x dx. Now we're going to work a problem similar to that, but this new problem will involve u substitution and it'll still have a couple of integration by parts and so on. So the new problem will look something like this. It's going to be the antiderivative of, or find the integral of, and rather than having e to the x, we're going to have e to the 2x. And then uh, <clears throat> rather than the cosine, we'll use the sine of x dx. Now the trig part doesn't make a whole lot of difference. The big change here is this. Changing it from e to the x to e to the 2x means now you're going to have to use u substitution within an integration by parts problem. So that's going to add a little complexity to it, make it a little bit longer. Uh, and the rest of the problem will treat it pretty much the same way. It'll still require two steps on the integration by parts and we'll still have to use the little bit of recursive idea to get the final answer. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the problem, sample problem. Okay, so the problem itself looks like this. The integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x. Now the first thing I'm going to do is exactly what I did in the part 4 video. I'm going to switch these two to get my u and dv. So I'm going to switch these and this. Now when I do that, I will wind up with something that looks like this. It's going to be uh, the integral of the sine of x times e to the x dx. Now the reason I switch those is it just makes it easier to find my choice of u and v. And again, as we suggested in the part 4 video, I'll let u be equal to the trig part of it. So this part right here is going to be my u, and this part right here is going to be my dv. Now, my process is going to be exactly what I've done in the other videos. I'm going to set up some tables and run through the tables to get the final uh, u, v, and so on. So, uh, I'll start by just building up two columns. So, the columns will look something like this. So I'll go from here across like this. And I'm going to go down. And this one's actually going to wind up being pretty long because it'll take u substitution. So, I'll go down something kind of like this. Now, I'll put the u thing right here, I'll put the dv thing right here, exactly like we've done in the previous videos. So in this problem, my u is equal to the sine of x. So u is going to be equal to the sine of x. And then dv, uh, dv will be equal to e to the, oops, I should have put a 2x here, so we'll go ahead and stick a 2x right there. Uh, I want to make it be e to the 2x. So this will be 2e to the 2x dx. Okay, now we'll do exactly what we've done before. Take the derivative of the u part, take the antiderivative of the dv part. So this is going to be uh, the derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to the derivative of the sine is the cosine of x and that means that the differential of u would be equal to the cosine of x times the differential of x. Now on this side, I'm going to do exactly what we've done in the previous videos. I'm going to find the antiderivative of both sides, so integrate both sides, uh, e to the 2x dx. Now on this one, when you integrate this just like we've done in the previous video, think of that as being a 1, this will just turn into v, and then on this side you're going to have the integral of e to the 2x dx. But within this problem now, what we've got is this. Is since this is not a simple x, you're going to have to use u substitution to get this. So I'm going to do it just like we've done u substitution in previous videos, and I'm going to change it from an x problem into a u problem. So at this point, it's just strictly a u substitution. Now, I'm going to do u substitution. Unfortunately, it'll be the same letter as what I've used over here, but this is just think of this as being a u substitution part. So, for the u substitution, and all I want to do is use u substitution to find the antiderivative of this. So, to start with, I'll let u be equal to 2x. So, u is equal to 2x. And that means the derivative of u with respect to x 
is equal to 2. So that means that du is equal to 2dx. Now I need a dx over here all by itself, so I'll move the 1 half from this side over this side, and I'll get this. 1 half du would be equal to dx. Now this matches up with the dx up here, so I can substitute it, and I'll substitute uh, this part right here. So there's my u substitution. Now again, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little box around that just to keep that separate. So what I had was this thing here. This is all just the u substitution. Okay, now when I do that, it gets me to this. This is going to be v will be equal to, and I'll change it all in terms of u. This will be e to the u, and in place of dx, I'll put 1 half du. So 1 half du. Uh, go ahead and bring the 1 half out in front, which gets you to uh, e to the u du. And then finally, the antiderivative of that uh, would be 1 half the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u, and then you could attach plus c, but we'll wait on that. Now the last step will be to do this. That means then that v itself would be equal to 1 half, and we'll change it back from a u problem into an x problem. Well, u is equal to 2x, so I'll replace this with uh, 2x, and there is my v. Now remember, as I work this problem out, I'm going to need three things. I'm going to need, it's eventually going to come down to u times v minus the integral of v du. So what I need, I need a u, I need du, and I need v. Well, there is my u. Uh, there is my du. And here is my v. So I've got... Uh, u, d, u, and v. So now I'll rewrite the problem the way it's set up. <clears throat> so what that's going to give me, I think I'll kind of hold it down here just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to start with the original thing. So the original problem looks like this. I wanted the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x dx. And this is all going to be equal to this thing right here. So I'll put that right here. So what I need is u b minus integral v do. So u is equal to the sine of x. Um, v is equal to 1 half e to the 2x. So that's u times v. And if I put that in here, this would be u times v. Then I've got minus the integral of v, which is 1 half e to the 2x times du, but du is equal to the cosine of x dx. So this is going to be the cosine of x dx. So when I put this in, this little part right here uh, all turns into this. So I'm down to that step. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just clean things up a little bit. <clears throat> so we'll make this be the integral of e to the 2x. This is the original problem, sine x dx. So you started out with that. Now, at this point, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull the 1 half out in front. Uh, we'll put the e to the 2x out in front times the sine of x. So that's this part right here. Then you've got minus... And I'll bring the 1 half out in front. And this is going to be the integral. And I think what I'm going to do is exactly what I did up here. I'm going to switch the e to the 2x. So I'll put the cosine of x first. So I've got the cosine of x right here. Then I'll have e to the 2x. And then I'll have dx. So really all you did there is just pull this 1 half out in front. Okay, now what you've got is this. It's kind of like those two-step problems that we've done before. What this is, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put brackets around this part right here. So I'll put a bracket around this. <clears throat> and what this was, this was all step one of integration by parts. 
So you did step one, but you've still got a problem with this integral. So just like we've done in the previous example, we'll just repeat the problem and just treat this as a brand new original problem all by itself. So when we do that, uh, this time I'm going to once again, I'll let u be the trig part of it, and I'll let dv be this part. So all this is is just the second step of integration by parts, treating this as an original problem. Now what we'll do, we'll kind of put a little line around it right here. This other part from here to here, uh, we'll just reserve it and we'll come back and take care of that later on. But just looking at the part inside the red brackets. Now again, a second U substitution. So I will go over here and uh, you know, use the same columns that I've done before. So I'll go across like this, uh, divide it up like this, and come down here. Um, this will be the U part, this will be the DV part. Okay, now just looking at this as a brand new problem. This time, u is going to be equal to the cosine of x. And dv is going to be equal to e to the 2x dx. Okay, so it looks like that. Now again, take the derivative of this side and take the antiderivative of the other side. So what this is going to be is du, the derivative of u with respect to x, the derivative of the sine, or the cosine, is the negative of the sine. So that means that the differential of u would be equal to the negative of the sine of x dx. Now on this side, you'll do just what you did before. You're going to integrate this, and you're going to integrate this side, e to the 2x dx. But you get a little bit of a break here. And notice, what's in the right-hand column right here is exactly the same thing that was in the right-hand column up here. So you wanted to find the integral of this one. So all this work in the right-hand column right here is just a repeat of what's in. Everything here is a repeat of what's in down here. So you don't have to go through the whole process again. You can take this answer right here and use it over again. So since it's exactly the same thing, you don't have to repeat all the work. Just take this answer and put it right back down here again. So from the previous work, you found out that uh, v is again going to be equal to 1 half e to the 2x. So any work you've done in a previous step, you don't have to do again. So what that means is that this time, now remember, you need the following. On this step right here, you're going to need u times v minus the integral of v du. But this time, so here is your u, um, here is du, and here is v. So those are the three things that you need in the definition. So now with that in mind, let's go ahead and plug them in. So what we'll do is just continue the problem from here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and here's the left-hand side of the equation, we'll just rewrite that. So you've got the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x dx. Now that was, this is the original problem. And you've already showed it was equal to, now remember, this part you have before, so just go ahead and bring that part on down. So bring that part straight down and rewrite it again. That's going to be equal to 1 half e to the 2x times the sine of x. Then you've got minus one half. Now at this point, switch back to what's inside these red brackets. So I'll put the brackets back on there again. And I'm going to replace what's inside the brackets with this right here. So this part is going to go right here. But this time, u and du and v are defined to be what's in these columns here. So I think I'll go ahead and leave them in red this time. So u is going to be equal to uh, actually, I'll switch into black, just to go back again. So u is going to be equal to the cosine of x. So I'll have uh, the cosine of x right here. Then I've got times v. Well, v is equal to 1 half e to the 2x. Then you've got minus the integral of v, which is 1 half e to the 2x times du, but du is minus the sine of x dx. So put everything that you know back in, and then finally go ahead and close the brackets on this. So 
this part right here turned into this, as you came down to here, this entire thing right here. So there is your U, this is U, V, and then V, DU. So you've got that part. So you had to do that thing twice. So what this was, this is integration by parts step two. So it took a second integration by parts. Now again, let's take the time to kind of clean things up a little bit. So from here on out, it's mostly algebra with a couple of tricks here. So the left-hand side stays the same. This will be the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x uh, and dx. Now again, this is, this is the original problem. And this part, we'll go ahead and write it down. That's going to be 1 half e to the 2x times the sine of x. But the next thing we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and distribute this negative 1 half. So this thing times this, and this thing times this. So distribute that 1 half. Now when you do that, what you'll have is 1 half times 1 half. This will become minus 1 fourth. So this thing right here will turn into minus 1 fourth. Then I'm going to put the e to the x to the 2x and x, so e to the 2x. Then I'll have the cosine of x. So this term right here turns into this right here. Okay, the next thing. Um, I'm going to take the negative 1 half and multiply it times this thing. Now kind of watch what happens here. What I'll do, first of all, is... Uh, well, I think I'll go ahead and put one extra. We'll just move it over here. So we'll make this be uh, negative times a negative will turn into a positive. So this will turn into a plus 1 half times the integral of 1 half e to the 2x times the negative of the sine of x dx. Okay, so when you distribute this, you wind up with that. Okay, now the next thing we'll do is a little more cleaning up here. So again, we've got the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x dx. And a lot of this stays the same. Just go ahead and rewrite this part. So minus 1 half e to the 2x times the sine of x. Then you've got minus 1 fourth. So just rewrite this thing. e to the 2x times the cosine of x. But this one will make a little different. Here's a negative. We'll bring the negative outside, and we'll bring the one-half outside. So you're actually going to bring out a negative one-half. Well, one-half times a negative one-half would give you a negative one-fourth of the integral of e to the 2x uh, times the sine of x dx. Okay, so after two steps of integration by parts, you're exactly where you were in that part four video. Now, just a reminder, uh, here, we'll put it in green, here was the original problem right here. So that's the original problem that we had way at the very beginning. Now, after two steps of integration by parts, you wind up with an integral that's exactly the same thing as the original one. So again, since this and this is exactly the same thing, what we'll do is it looks like the same thing as before. It looks like you're not getting anywhere, but take advantage of the fact that they're the same. Since this is a negative one-fourth on this side, take this entire thing and move it uh, to the other side of the equal sign. So rather than being a negative one-fourth the integral, when you move it over to this side, it will become a positive one-fourth of the integral. So let's do that. And this is very similar to the recursive thing that we did in the part 4 video. So first of all, you've got this one, and it's the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x. Now this was a negative 1 fourth the integral. When you bring it over to this side, it will become a positive 1 fourth of the integral of e to the 2x sine x dx. Then you've got equal to, and what's left over are just these two pieces right here. So you move this one over, and now you've still got these two on the right-hand side. So that'll be 1 half e to the 2x sine x, then minus 1 fourth e to the 2x cosine x. Okay, now the next thing is... 
since um, both these are the same, we'll do them kind of in red here, you've got the integral plus one-fourth of exactly the same integral. So four-fourths plus one-fourth, you can add those together and you will get five-fourths of the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x dx. So all you did there, think of this as being four-fourths plus one-fourth, add them together, and you get five-fourths of that. So you can put these two things together. And on this side, you'll still have the same thing. So that's going to be one-half e to the 2x sine x minus one-fourth e to the 2x cosine x. Okay, and just algebra from here, you're actually one step away from being done. Now, again, since you're multiplying by 5 fourths over here, take this 5 fourths, move it over to this side, and it's division, but change it to invert and multiply. So I'll take this 5 fourths right here and move it to the other side. So when I do that, it'll be like doing division. That changes into the integral of e to the 2x times the sine of x dx. Now what that is, that's the original problem that I started with. But when I take this 5 fourths move it over this side, I'll invert and multiply, it'll become 4 fifths of, now I'll rewrite this, 1 half e to the 2x times the sine of x minus 1 fourth e to the 2x times the cosine of x and you're done except for one thing. Don't forget at the end of the entire problem because you did indefinite integration, you still got to attach a plus C onto the end. So this right here, here is the original problem. That was your original problem. And when you get finished, this part right here is going to be the solution to it. So uh, very similar to what we did in that part four video. So you can just kind of run up and look at the whole process one more time uh, from the very beginning, kind of a long problem here. Now you started with uh, this. So start with this and move the trig part in front, pick your u and pick your v. Uh, do the first part of integration by parts, which requires u substitution, and that gets you down here to step one. So in step one, you've done this. But again, you can't find the antiderivative of that, so do integration by parts a second time. When you do integration by parts a second time, it gets you down here to uh, step two. Now, at this point, when you clean things up, you wind up with this. Is the original problem was on the left-hand side, and after all that work, you wind up with the integral, the original integral, again on the right-hand side. So since you've got it on both sides, uh, it's a minus one-fourth here. Take this over to the left-hand side, and you can add the two of them together. So when you add them together, uh, you get uh, four-fourths plus one-fourth would be five-fourths of the original problem. So again, I think I'll stick it in green here. So you've got five-fourths of the original problem. Uh, move the five-fourths over here. There's the original uh, answer, and you're done. So there's a sample of a problem that requires both u substitution, integration by parts twice, and then you kind of have to use that little recursive definition to move things over to get the final answer.